So indeed, oh, hi, thank you, Schön, but thank you, right? <laughs> um, so uh, today I'll talk about um, chronic inflammation response syndrome, or CIRS, um, which is actually qualified as an environmentally acquired illness. Um, the intent of the lecture is uh, to give you an introduction to CIRS. I don't know if already a lot of people are familiar or seeing these, these patients, maybe. Not so much. We'll see. Um, the main goal is just to help you to recognize these patients and also uh, to show you some possible treatments. So that's what this um, topic is about. Now, the... Uh, we are looking for those typical CRS patients. Now, this could be one of them. So overall, they don't look that sick. They are um, sometimes fatigued. They may be that sick, but it's not a general, um, general thing you must see. We also see that the routine lab work they bring from their other doctors is pretty normal. So you barely see any uh, strange things in uh, routine lab work. Um, also, uh, if you're going to um, ask a couple of questions and maybe listen to what they are saying, they will often tell you that they have been seeking help with a lot of patients, as you said before, indeed. Um, so they've been uh, going from doctor to doctor, maybe to a specialist, and then they never find a solution. They've tried different things, they have a lot of medication, but it doesn't really seem to work. They keep having those same system, um, symptoms. Um, so this could be one of your patients, and if we think about it, uh, those are often the patients who come with diagnoses uh, like chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia. They also complain about the same things. Um, they sometimes bring diagnoses, I have a depression, my doctor says I'm, I'm having a depression, but I don't get better uh, with this medication. Um, there's other symptoms or diagnosis you might also uh, keep in the back of your mind if you want to uh, diagnose SIRS, and those are chronic allergic rhinitis um, and asthma as well. Now, what is chronic inflammatory of inflammation response syndrome? We say SIRS. It is qualified as an environmentally acquired illness or biotoxin illness, and that's where, what we're going to talk about today. Now, it is a contact with a biotoxin that causes general inflammation in the body of those patients. The inflammation can be on different levels, so it will affect multiple systems and it will give you a variety of symptoms. This makes it harder to diagnose. The exposure to mold and mycotoxins is the main uh, cause, but there's different causes and I'll explain you in a moment. Now, for mold, we know that water damaged buildings are the biggest problem. So this is uh, in a nutshell, SIRS in a nutshell. So water damaged buildings, sometimes it's very obvious. You see mold growing, it has a perfect um, condition for mold to grow, it has a little bit of oxygen, it is a high humidity and mold can grow easily here. But often um, you won't see it, it can be behind wallpapers, it can be in walls, it can be in, um, in a ventilation system, it can be underneath a sink or in a basement, placements you don't often see in a home, and so on. So it can perfectly be hidden. People are not telling they have a mold, um, mold exposure or a mold infestation in their homes. 